The Atmosphere Apart from the major size difference between the Earth and the Moon, what else is different? Well, there are a couple of things. However, one of the biggest differences is the layer of gas that we have around the Earth that is not existent on the Moon. This layer of gas is the reason life can exist on Earth and not on the Moon. Of course, the layer of gas that we're talking about is called the atmosphere. It's made up of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% of other gases, such as carbon dioxide, water vapor, and methane. One of the roles of the atmosphere is to protect us. From who, you might say? Well, this big ball of fire in the sky, also known as the sun. The sun sends out light towards us, which is good, thank you. Our plants use it for photosynthesis and we can make food from that. Also, heat, otherwise known as infrared radiation. This helps to keep us warm, so it's also quite useful. However, the story between the Earth and the Sun is not always a happy one. The Sun also sends out harmful ultraviolet radiation, also known as UV. This is harmful because it can lead to skin cancer. So, our atmosphere protects us from this ultraviolet radiation. So, one of the jobs of the atmosphere is to protect us from radiation. However, it's not just radiation it protects us from. Ever heard of the saying, the moon is made of Swiss cheese? Now hold on there, before you book your next trip to the moon. It's just a saying. But why do we say that? Well, ever since the moon was created, it's been under constant attack by flying rocks called asteroids and meteorites. These rocks smash against the surface of the moon, creating holes called craters. Some of these craters are really big. If you wanted to go on an adventure on one of these craters, it could take you up to 500 hours to walk across one. So how come the Earth doesn't have such huge craters? Well, the Earth is also attacked by rocks. However, the atmosphere makes sure that they burn up before they get towards us. That means most of the small rocks can't make it towards Earth. Of course, some larger ones do. So, the atmosphere protects us from radiation, but also physically protects us from flying rocks such as meteorites. The other job of the atmosphere is to keep us warm. So you mentioned how the sun shoots infrared radiation towards us. The earth absorbs it, but also reflects it out. However, the layer of gases in the atmosphere make sure that this radiation is trapped within the earth, staying and keeping us warm. This is known as the greenhouse effect. And it's good because it keeps us warm. And the gases responsible for this are called greenhouse gases, an example being carbon dioxide. However, the problem is that too much carbon dioxide can trap in too much infrared radiation. And this can lead to global warming. So, global warming is caused by more greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere. One reason why there's so much carbon dioxide is because of deforestation. This is when trees are chopped down to make wood. Plants such as trees are useful because they take in carbon dioxide in a reaction called photosynthesis to make sugar. However, if we chop down the trees to make wood, that means the carbon dioxide can no longer be taken in. And as a result, the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere build up. Another reason why there's so much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is because of burning fuel for cars, trains, aeroplanes, or when we burn fuels to make electricity. So is global warming bad? So the question is no longer, is global warming bad? But rather, yes, it is bad. And here's why. Global warming can cause polar ice caps to melt. That means not only is it dangerous for wildlife, but also the melting of polar ice caps can lead to flooding in towns near the coast. Another danger of global warming is unpredictable weather. For example, unpredictable rainfall patterns. This means it can be difficult for people to grow crops. Since there's no rain, 
they will no longer be able to grow their crops, or will grow less than they could before. So, the atmosphere is a very delicate balance of gases. Let's try to keep it that way. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.